So we got the compounds all on the truck. You would have seen that in the last video. Um, we have been driving the truck around a little bit. Just make sure everything's kosher, everything's working good. We have not had any issues with the truck. As you can see, the air filter is a little bit dirty. We have uh, done some towing with it. I didn't, I got some video of doing the towing, but no actual comment of doing the video or on the video. Truck tows way better than it did before. Uh, let me get out of the wind here. Truck tows way better than it did before. I am gonna put a tighter exhaust housing on this turbo, the S476, because I would like it to spool a little bit harder. It's pretty good, like going down the highway, let's say 20 pounds of total boost, it'll be making about five, six pounds of boost. I would like to come in a little bit harder than that. And then we're running the little turbocharger, the K27, is running out of turbine about 40 to 45 pounds of total boost, which is pretty good for a setup like this. I would say we're probably in the, maybe a little bit over 400. We did no changes as far as that goes to um, the fueling. None of that has been changed. We literally just put the bigger turbo on and the truck definitely runs much better, much cooler EGTs wise um, than it did before. Now we put a drive pressure gauge on it. This is just hillbilly drive pressure gauge, piece of copper tubing, and then an oil pressure, cheap oil pressure gauge. And we're, like I said, we're running one to one up to about 40, 45 pounds boost. So that's pretty good for that setup. But like I said, I want that big charger to come in a little bit harder, um, drive a little bit harder. So I'm going to do a point, a point nine housing on it. It has a point one O on it right now. Um, I probably would try a one, but there isn't any available right now. So we'll try a point nine, see how that works to start with. Um, what else do I want to do? Anyways, um, we're going to do, Jason and I are going to go do some runs, see how the truck works. Um, it definitely feels faster. It comes on better, works better. Um, now we are running on the same fuel, so it's not going to be considerably faster. It's just going to be more drivable. So uh, let's go do that. All right, guys, so we're going to do a pull. We're on black diesel, same fuel setup as before, uh, but with the um, compounds on. So we're going to do a little bit of a boosted launch, nothing crazy. Same as before, probably like five, six pounds kind of idea and see what we get. I don't have the draggy grab charging because I forgot to charge it. But So we're just going to do a couple runs and then probably do uh, a run with the draggy after it charges a little bit. So as we go. guys so we're gonna do a run uh, with the truck uh, we're gonna do one going this way going going the other way same idea as what we were doing before like five to seven eight pounds kind of idea and then uh, Jason's gonna go out of the truck for the next one so you guys can see what it looks like and we'll go from there all right guys we did a couple runs but the draggy was low in power so couldn't do too many the first run there we did um i had to get after it a little bit more i didn't get on the boost enough and i was locking the converter at the wrong time so i did it exactly the same as we did last time and this is what we got now jason was in the truck when we did this one when i did this run so the truck was a little bit heavier i figured it out on the calculator 
and we're about 410 horsepower. All right, guys, we're back from out running around. Uh, I already showed you the draggy results and all that jazz. I'll figure out the, it'll be in there too, uh, but it's gonna be making, it makes a little bit more power, not anything crazy. I haven't figured that out just yet. I'm gonna figure out the pounds and all that stuff uh, versus how much faster we went and all that jazz. It's not gonna be crazy horsepower difference, but it definitely makes more power, better power through the curve, all that type of stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna do a quick kind of overview of what we what we got going on. Um, talk about a little, like I said, the drive pressure does uh, anything 40, 45 pounds above that, it's kind of the turbine on the K27 runs out of out of air. It just can't move any more air. So, um, like I said, the drive pressure gauge that we have hooked into the manifold is just a cheap gauge. Um, pretty easy to set up. I'm not, you know, like you could put one of these in there with a diaphragm setup and it could stay in there all the time if you really want. I think after you get it set up, you really don't need to do that. Um, you can just leave it like this. But this setup definitely works well. No issues with it. Um, it is underpowered for what my opinion, for me it's underpowered, but I'm used to having more power. So will this stay on there? Probably not, but that's beside the point. Um, it does. It is a nice running compound setup. We are gonna try, before I do anything, I wanna try, I'm gonna pull this 0.1 housing off of here and we're gonna put a 0.9 housing to drive this turbo a little bit harder. Um, so that turbo doesn't have to work so hard, um, which I think will help a little bit. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I guess we could do an intake horn. We can, we can monkey with that a little bit. Um, actually, I guess we could use the intake horn that's on the first gen. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But we'll try an intake horn setup, change that out, see what that what that does for us. Um, drive pressure, obviously, is not that's not going to change that. Uh, we did have the water meth on there, but I did have it off on these runs, same as we did the first time, because there's no benefit out of having, I wanted to do a back-to-back, -back, or not a back-to-back, -back, but a comparison. It's roughly the same temperature. I would say maybe a little bit cooler today, but not astronomically cooler, um, and the compounds build more heat anyway. But everything works flawless. The truck works really well. Um, it's just under power for what I want, um, but that wasn't the point of doing these videos, was to help you guys choose what to do and why and all that stuff but this setup does work really well it's it's now enjoyable to tow with again um, because it has enough power to get it its own way everything's pretty good as far as that goes um, i am going to i still have to do the breakdown video of what all of this cost for you guys that are interested because um, i know a few guys have asked about that i will do a video of what all of this costs because you know i told you i would so that's the setup for you guys that were interested in the exhaust. It does actually connect down there properly as a full exhaust, not cooking anything. We did wrap this just to make sure we weren't gonna have an issue. Obviously the K27 turbine is not wrapped or anything like that. Didn't see the point in doing that one. Though you could probably buy a blanket for it. It wouldn't hurt anything being wrapped, but Everything seems to work pretty good. I, it, you know, like I said, the truck is enjoyable at this point, at least to drive. So that's nice. Um, and the truck working good. It's not barfing out a bunch of uh, blow by or anything. You can see where it's actually leaking a little bit right there. Um, but that's literally the only vent it has on it. So the fuel mileage side of things, it has got a little bit better on fuel. I would say we, we burnt about 20 liters less on the trip back and forth to Edmonton than we just did versus the one we did before. Um, I never figured out exactly because I don't have a, I have to set up my metering block so I can actually measure how much fuel we were using. I don't have that set up. We kind of, we, we kind of figured it out. So I don't know exactly, but it definitely took a whole jerry can more fuel the time before than it did this last time. So five gallons difference ish. Um, so a considerable amount versus, you know, that's, I don't know how many miles it is. I'll, I'll put it up here, but um, on that round trip, same truck, same trailer, all of that same, like Jason was in the truck with me. Everything was the same as far as that goes. And the ambient temperature, roughly the same. Not exactly the same, but I would say within, let's say five to eight degrees. So not uh, like a huge difference in temperature. But anyways, um, check out this video above. Remember, it's not rocket science.